Virgin Ghana like California with Sunset Boulevard Johannesburg would be Miami Somalia like New York with the most pretty light The toughest pretty car Every New Year the African Times Square like off Imagine Lagos like Las Vegas the about 80s this area was a quite rough area there's a lot of like Jamaican African people used to be here and there's a lot of riots and stuff like that around here I wasn't quite known about it there was riot fighting and but recently I think this last as far as I know about 10 years it's changed especially this four three three four years People that coming into Brixton, it's changing, it's mutualistic as well, which never happened in Brixton because it was known as a rough area. Local people start to feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially this road was famous that this this side, this this cafe as well, we need to move out because they sell this all this area and the rich people bought it. So we need to move out and maybe famous shops is coming in. So local people is a little bit angry about it. That's why we have a red riot a couple of months ago. Yeah, it's about politics, that's the one. That's politics. It's, it's, all politics. Po it's all politics, it's all lies. So in that aspect there, I don't deal with gentrification personally. The change, you have to go with change, otherwise you're left behind with change, yeah? Do you think the change will be in favour of the local people living The, the community, depending on the community, if they've got transferable skills. If they haven't got transferable skills and the councils and the parties aren't dealing with the community as into the youth. The youth is the priority in the area because the youth are the future. Yeah? So in the aspect there, are they dealing with it? They're not, but we are. Pop Rickson is dealing with the community. Are you ready to stand up and fight the right Gentrification to me is like, it's, it's a swear word, it's, it's a word that they've put in there, it's like racism, it's like a, it's like a hidden word for racism, or to, you, you can't do this, it, it's about elitists it, as you said, you know, you've got the hierarchy, you've got the, the ordinary people, and so I don't really deal with that because I know where I'm coming from, I'm coming from this area from I'm a kid, so. What we do for the community in this time is, yes, you have to help the community, but you've got to help yourself first, yeah? You know that, girls. Yeah. Cut! We're just asking for equal rights and justice, you know? And they can take you in very, very high. So if you can't afford to pay the rent, you have to go. I don't think the neighborhood like it. You know, because housing right now in Brixton is very, very expensive. And, pe and they say they don't want no one on social benefits living in Brixton. If you're on social benefits, they don't want you. They say Brixton is a working class here. If you can't afford to pay rent or buy a property in Brixton, they don't want you in Brixton. They say you have to be working to live in London. But not only Brixton, but London, throughout London. So London become a very exclusive society. Well you know it feels like Ivan, born under the Brixton sun. 